Hey, good afternoon, how you doing? It's been a long week, huh? Well, I wanted to hop on today and chat with you about the affirmations that I've been sharing recently. Um, I'm going to try to do kind of 30 days of affirmations and 30 days of journal prompts to try and help you get in a bit of a better um, frame of mind and kind of pick you up after the chaos that's been the last year and hopefully make you feel like you're in a better place to handle things as we move forward and lockdown eases and we get back into some form of normality. And in doing so, I had a friend, Ali, ask um, how to go about making affirmations. How, how do you make those and kind of get them into your daily routine? And I thought that's a great idea because it's all well and good me pumping out these affirmations day after day and you're saying, that's great Sally, but it doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't spark joy. It doesn't make me feel anything in here. It's just words and I'm just repeating them. I don't feel any connection to them. So I'm not going to do it, right? And the whole point of creating affirmations is to make them powerful so they have an impact on your life and so that you want to keep repeating them and you want to keep reminding yourself of these positive affirmations in your life, right? So the most impactful way that you can create an affirmation for you is to use I am statements. And I am statements are the strongest because you are talking about yourself. You are using aspects of yourself, either how you are right now or how you want to be. And you're talking to yourself. And that means that the connection to these affirmations are just that little bit stronger and should invoke some type of emotional connection to them. And when that happens, you're going to repeat them more frequently. And when you repeat them more frequently, then you start to see the impact that they have on you. So these can be things like... I am strong enough to get through today. I am strong enough to get through today. I am determined to succeed no matter what. I am determined to succeed no matter what. I feel wonderful every morning when I wake up. I feel wonderful every morning when I wake up. I know that I will succeed. So as we start to expand on these affirmations, we change the I am statements. They're still technically I am statements because we're still talking to ourselves about ourselves, but we start to change the words. So we say I feel, I am, I know, I can, I will. Um, All of these statements, beginning with I, are how you should start when you're looking to build your affirmations. And sometimes all you need to do is start with one. You know, a lot of people say three to five affirmations, put them all up, all around you so you see them all the time. Um, But sometimes that's just too much and it just feels like it's an intrusion, right? It just feels just too much and it becomes overwhelming and that puts you off and you don't want to do it. So just if you're really struggling with the idea of affirmations and you don't know whether they're going to have an impact on you or not, it's just to start with one. Just pick one. How how do you want to feel? Do you want to feel powerful? Do you want to feel strong? Do you want to feel successful? Pick some type of emotion or some type of adjective that portrays how you want to be. And when you decide how you want to be, that's what you become. So create your I am statement based on becoming that person that you want to be. Now, that's step one. That's just picking your first affirmation, right? So you know what you want to say. You want to say, I am a successful businesswoman and succeed in everything I do. I'm a successful businesswoman and I succeed in everything I do. Right? Say that's your first one. It may not be it. It's, I am a fantastic mum just as I am. I am a fantastic mum just as I am. Just right here, right now. I'm, I'm a fantastic mum. It can be anything. 
So pick your first one, all right? And the next thing is to do is decide how you want that affirmation to show up in your life. Some people like to put reminders on their phone. I tend to have reminders on your phone. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it pops up on my phone. This one says, I teach others to believe in me by believing in myself. And I've got this set up as a reminder on my phone. And when it pops up, I read it out. I say it out loud. I teach others to believe in me by believing in myself. And when it's done, mark complete. And away it goes. I have about four or five of these affirmations set up as reminders once a day. And I don't have them all coming through at once. I start off about 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. That's when I get my first one. And then every hour for the next three or four hours, I have a new affirmation that pops up. It pops up and then I mark it's complete. And that's my affirmation for the day done. And I can move on with my day, get on with it. And I'm not going to see that affirmation again until tomorrow. Another way that you can set up the affirmation to be something of a trigger to remind you to be in the here and now is to write it on something that you're going to look at frequently. Some people like to put them on post-it notes and stick them on mirrors. It could be the mirror in your home, the mirror in your bathroom, mirror, um, you know, that flip down mirror in your car. You know, if you're at a stoplight, flip it down, have a quick look, put it back up. Uh, some people like to put it inside their journal. If you journal regularly, put it on the first page of your journal so it's the first thing you look at when you open it up. Or you could, if you wanted to, make it into a bookmark. So if you're an avid reader, it's in your bookmark and then every time you pick up your book and you look at your bookmark, there's your affirmations there. And as you get into the practice of using these affirmations, your, your goals are going to change, all right? So you don't have to stick to the same thing all the time. Once you feel like you have got everything you can get out of the ones that you're using, change them. Either say goodbye, thank you for, for putting me in a better place, move on, just get rid of one. Or you can change the wording, uh, make it a bit more powerful, make it maybe a bit bigger. Um, a lot of people who are into using positive affirmations in regards to abundance kind of start small and they say things like, I am worthy of all the money that I receive. And then as they start to see the law of attraction work and this law of abundance coming into their lives, they expand that. I am worthy of all that I receive and more is coming or I'm worthy of all that I receive and know that there is an infinite amount available to me in the universe. So you can expand. You don't have to stick with the first affirmations that you create. Just try them out. It's like, you know, I know we haven't been able to do this for a year or so, but it's like going to the shop. You fancy buying a new pair of jeans, but you're not quite sure. So you pick up a couple and you try them on for size, right? And when you first try on a pair of jeans, they, they may not fit just right, but you know a little bit of wear here and there, wearing them for a couple of days in a row, they're going to fit just right. So give it a try. It's the same with affirmations. Try a couple on. The ones that you think, mm, you know, I think this is going to work for me. Keep using them for a couple of days, a couple of weeks. See how they fit. And if they're a good fit, they're going to feel good when you use them. And if they don't make you feel good, don't use them. Just move on. Find another one. So that's why I try to offer daily affirmations, not necessarily um, because you have to focus on them, you, you know, oh, Sally's posted a new affirmation, i got to see what it is, see what it means, how it relates to me, and then i got to repeat it. Mm -mm. I'm just trying to help kind of trigger ideas in your mind to see how you can pick up these affirmations and make them applicable to you. So give it a go. I'd love to hear what kind of affirmations you've been creating for yourself. I'd love to know what kind of routine or what kind of practice you're using to put more affirmations into your life. And I want to know if you've found that through positive affirmations, you've noticed a change. All right? So let me know. Leave a comment. Send me a message. Send me an email. I want to know more about how affirmations 
have impacted your life or what questions you might have in regards to using affirmations in your life. All right, have a fantastic day. It's been great to see you and I'll speak to you soon. All right.